First off, trend alert. Major trend alert. These things are on fire. Everyone is flipping out over these chapstick slash lip balm pouch money holders like that you can make with your Cricut. So I recently did a video over on my Mr. Crafty Pants channel where I made one of these. It has blown up. Everybody is loving it. And I mean, to be completely honest with you, I am so obsessed with these on their own. They're amazing. But the thing is, you need this little plastic pouch to go over top of these little lip balm pouch money holder, right? And they've been sold out everywhere. So our team recently designed a new, a new concept for this whole little lip balm pouch money holder. And this is what we're looking at right here. So trust me, it's gonna look even better here shortly, but basically you do not need that little plastic pouch. And this is actually made into the card itself where you can basically roll up the bill and put it right inside of this little card, which is so freaking cool. I'm so here for it. So let's come over here and do a one click download, making sure that the SVG option is selected. And then over here in Cricut Design Space, as you can see, I did go ahead and upload this. This thing is so freaking cute, y'all. Now, if you take a look over here on the right-hand side of the page in the layers panel, you can see that this is a multi-layered project, but it is all gonna be cut out. It's all an SVG. It'll all be cut out onto cardstock. And again, you do not need that little plastic pouch or a printer to make this happen just a Cricut cutting machine or really any type of cutting machine. So this is actually the cardstock that I'm using. This right here. So this is actually the Basil cardstock from 143 Vinyl, which if you're a Crafty.net member, you actually get an everyday exclusive discount to 143 Vinyl. And I'm also using like this little glitter cardstock right here from Hobby Lobby. Like this stuff is so freaking gorgeous. And this will be the top layer. So we'll be using this as well as these others right here. Now you do want to make sure, just because Cricut can be a little wonky sometimes, you do want to make sure that your card is sized to four inches by five inches. And as you can see here, it did come in at that exact size, but just double check yours. But um, we really don't need to do anything here. If you did want to go in here and actually make something, make it a little bit more custom, you can, by all means, you absolutely can. So let's come over here, click on text. And let's just put in here the, the dollar amount. Let's put in here $20. And then let me come up here and actually change that font. Uh, let's come over here and just do a search for crafty because with the crafty.net fonts, basically all you need to do is go in here and search for the word crafty and it'll bring up all of the fonts from crafty. So as you can see, they all end with the name crafty like so. Let's just go ahead and go with the eternal font right here. And we can just drag this over, shrink it down to fit inside of this little balloon. I mean, you could also always just go in here and just write it in by hand. But I mean, y'all know I'm extra. Y'all know I have to take it to the next level. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's also go in here and decide what color of car stock we wanted to cut out on. And I do think I want it to be on this teal color. So let's come over here to color sync, come down here and grab that layer and drag it up here to the teal layer. And as you can see, it just went ahead and synced those two colors together like so. Now let's go ahead and come up here towards the top right, click on make it. And we don't need to do anything here. Let's go ahead and come down here, click on continue. And for the basil cardstock, even though it is like a medium cardstock, I've always had better luck just cutting it out on the heavy cardstock cut setting. But I mean, always do test cuts to make sure that's gonna work good for you. And then we'll click on remember material settings for at least the next couple of layers. And let's go ahead and load this onto a blue light grip cutting mat. And the blue light grip cutting mat is super important because it's just not sticky enough to actually rip your cardstock to shreds, which is pretty important, don't you think? <laughs> And then for this, let's go ahead and flip the mat over and then peel the mat away from our material. It's always important for nearly any material, especially cardstock though. All right, so the next mat up is the purple one, which is actually going to be the glittery one. We're just going to skip over that one for now and we can actually skip over it by coming down here and clicking on this mat like so. And then we can go ahead and load this in just so we can keep the cut setting the same for all three of these. Then we'll switch it for the last one, which is the glitter.
All right, so for the last and final match, the glittery card stock, let's come over here, click on this little downward arrow, switch this over, click on browse on materials, and then do a search for glitter. And then let's click on glitter card stock, click on done, and I like to go in here and just add more pressure because this thing is a beast. Now, whenever I'm cutting out something that's maybe a little bit more difficult sometimes to cut out and you do want to make sure that it did cut all the way through before unloading it, just go in here and try to lift up on the little bits and bobs on little pieces. All right. And it looks like it all cut through. So let's go ahead and unload this. All right, so now we're gonna go in here and basically just start assembling everything together. And if you need some help in figuring out the assembly, just come back over here to Cricut Design Space and you can take a look through all of this and you can basically kind of see what goes where. And I am using the Tombow adhesive, like this little glue adhesive right here. Now, as far as like these really small little letters, like this little guy right here, I'm basically using my little Gorilla Glue Super Glue. I know I'm always about this stuff, but this stuff is so freaking amazing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of barely push in on this. And then basically just kind of swipe the cardstock up and over top of it, like so. And then very carefully place it down. And then all you need to do is go ahead and roll up a bill like this one right here. And then just slide it right through this little opening. Hey, real quick, if you are new around here to this channel and you also want to learn how to best use your Cricut, which I mean, we both know that you do, then definitely consider stamping that subscribe button. Also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications. We are putting out multiple Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. And y'all do not, do not want to miss out on a single Crafty or Cricut Minute. Also, if you just want to help us out, which we would obviously greatly appreciate, consider, consider stamping that like button and dropping a comment down below maybe even sharing this with your crafty friends on Facebook. Thank y'all so much for watching. We love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty y'all.